Moreland City Council has been pleased to support the Community Creator Artists in Residence program as part of our response to the local community needs. The program was designed to assist artists, businesses and community organisations to recover from COVID-19 restrictions through the creation of a matched artistic residency program for five local artists and five local businesses. These residencies provided a short-term employment opportunity for artists while simultaneously delivering a creative response to the challenge faced by our local businesses. Council remains committed to strengthening the significant creative sector in Moreland and enhancing the standing as a place for making and creating art. Please join me in welcoming our artists and business representatives as they share their experiences and insights with you over the next few minutes. This project has just been perfect for the Neighbourhood House to really re-engage our communities after such a long period of often closures or really small numbers um, that we can um, open the house to. I've been blown away with the turn up to different events. Yeah, I thought maybe three people would come to the Geology Walk or five or something. I wasn't sure and I also think there's a really interesting cross-disciplinary thing that's happening between my usual perhaps scene of the arts and also community members from nearby and then other people that are normally engaged with the house all kind of coming together around this interest um, in, in this area. And so that's been really cool and I think it has really brought together an eclectic kind of um, group of people around what I've been doing here, mm. not just all from the one area. This project really helped our other participants to um, come through the COVID lockdown. Um, some of them were really isolated, uh, some were hospitalised but were able to come out of hospital just to join the group. Um, it was fantastic in giving people that opportunity to come together. Creativity is something that can easily get lost in you know in busy lives and um, certainly the participants that we dealt with um, you know have all got a lot going on in their lives just just as we all do and I think in a community I think when people can take a step back from that and it's almost an escape to involve themselves in art in some way mm. and there's there's great benefits in, in that um, I think it brings some self confidence as well. Um, and then we get to hear, and in this instance, people get to hear each other's stories in some form. And, you know, people have been telling each other's stories since the dawn of time, I guess. And it is a way to connect with each other um, and to gain a little understanding of, of each other's lives. So in that respect, this sort of art opened up or allowed that to happen, I think. Antonia um, initially approached me around uh, the project and using offcuts from uh, the products that we make out of timber. We make a lot of things out of timber. We have a lot of offcuts. And that's been a constant source of conversation and concern at Fitzroy Stretches about what we can do with the excess material that doesn't go into making something here. So I was thrilled to think that here was an artist who could come and take advantage of something um, that we didn't really quite know what to do with and I guess in some ways always felt a bit guilty about just throwing them out. One of the community benefits of this project will be a workshop that we're holding at a local kinder in Moreland um, and we're going to be using the offcuts from Fitzroy Stretches. Uh, we're sanding them down and kind of shaping them into interesting block shapes and I'm going to be bringing them into um, the classroom there to see really what the kids can build with this sort of ramshackle um, collection of interesting wooden shapes. And we're also going to talk about where the wood comes from and, you know, the importance of um, sustainability. I think you only have to look at the way everybody turned to creativity during lockdown, creating masterpieces in their homes, uh, just to see the way that the arts just provides comfort and entertainment. I mean, who hasn't sort of used up all of their Netflix viewing, um, run out of everything to watch on stand in this time? And we need to understand better the way that community arts feeds into 
to all of the arts. People don't just spontaneously make an amazing feature film. They first begin at a community level and then they move on to a professional and local level and then they move on to an international level. And, and that's how community arts feeds, feeds everybody. This program has been fantastic coming up with the idea that the artist can solve a problem for the business and I had just never seen anything like this. So I think it's really setting a milestone and a benchmark of what's possible in terms of the relationships between businesses and artists. It kind of feels yeah, quite pioneering in that sense. So I see a real possibility in the future for more of these creative collaborations not only creative but they're very practical as well because it's all about using a creative solution to solve a practical problem. So we've been a community space for over five years now and the biggest unifier that we have are arts events, cultural events. It's been absolutely fantastic to witness the return of people to space and the joy and the art. This has been a fantastic project to be a part of as it's really created time and space and funding to allow me to go really deep into this work and to reach out and have the resources to connect with other creative um, businesses as well as site works and other artists around Moreland. And I really hope that this program gets a chance to happen again in the near future because there's so much of a creative community here in Moreland and of course everybody's struggling um, post, during, whatever stage you're at with the pandemic <laughs> um, as creative practitioners. So to have a generous sort of funding program like this really allows us the feeling that it's sustainable to continue doing what we do. Hi, I'm Angela Pamick, the Arts Officer here at Arts Moreland. And I've been privileged to work on this program with these local artists and businesses creating a wonderful opportunity for our local community to come together after COVID-19 restrictions. This program has been really important to generate a sense of community with our local uh, residents, our local businesses and of course our artists as well. It's been a fantastic program and one I strongly, uh, strongly hope can come to fruition again in the future.